Just a, a few statistics that I'd like to actually focus on. 738 million handsets are set to now uh, infiltrate the African continent by the end of next year. So we're starting to see uh, massive infiltration coming through and an increase in penetration. Uh, Huawei's uh, new strategy is called glocalization. Give us an indication of how you plan to leverage of the immense growth that we're seeing, not only in terms of internet usage, but also in terms of devices. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm very glad to, to, to introduce something about Huawei devices, so our, our, also our marketing plans. Uh, because uh, now more and more people like to uh, use uh, internet, uh, sounds like, uh, 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 for example, the Facebook, Twitter is very popular, even for the young people. So uh, I think it's, it's a nice opportunity for our company to supply uh, some uh, fantastic devices more uh, friendly, more easy to use, and, and affordable. That means uh, 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 let's simply share something. Yeah. yeah. Leo, how yeah. do you plan to, to team up with local business uh, on the African continent at this point in time? I know that you have been working uh, with the likes of MTN, for example, with regards to long-term evolution. Give us an indication of the synergies. Yes, uh, currently we, we are the, 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 the strategic partner for, for MTN or even for Watacom, the, the, all the big operators in, in, South, in South African market. So uh, only because uh, our device is uh, the quality is nice uh, and also our uh, innovation ability is good enough to support their market. Okay. Mm. Uh, Leo, what kind of growth do you foresee on the African continent? Uh, and with regards to, uh, we, we were talking about devices a little earlier, and that's really what's going to set Africa apart from the rest of the world because we've actually leapfrogged a uh, le uh, fixed line in a sense, and this is why mobile is so important. What kind of growth do you foresee going forward? Yes, uh, actually, I, I think for for our ne next strategy, I mean, uh, uh, our own brand is very important uh, because uh, we supply the modems before, so everybody, I mean, consumers know our modems, Huawei brand is very well, but now we change to uh, smart devices, I mean, handsets, tablet. So we need to set up our own brand here in this lo local market with a lot of uh, strategic partners, I mean, some mm. Google or operators or even retailers. Mm. Okay. Uh, um, again, when we look at the trends, and I mentioned the mobile um, element, we've got many cables that are now coming to the African continent, changing uh, the bandwidth scenario quite extensively. Um, at the end of the day, we've also got to see uh, a lot of synergies with regards to the companies that operate on this African continent to ensure that the quality that is given to the consumer on the ground is one mm -hmm. uh, that matches to global entities. When do you see that uh, becoming a reality for Africans? Yes, yeah, that's very important uh, for us. We also have a plan to arrange some uh, service centers or even set up our uh, websites. The consumer can visit the websites and to download some uh, uh, interesting uh, applications or softwares for free and also learn more about our devices, even buy some accessory or chargers from that net, uh, website and also can visit our uh, service center to experience uh, the new technology Mm. Like something, the, the high link, that means when you plug your, your modems, just uh, we, after 15 seconds, you can directly accept uh, the internet or some uh, high space uh, Huawei Cloud Plus service, a lot mm. of. Is that where you see uh, quite a bit of growth? I mean, you m mentioned the cloud, you're talking about uh, connecting within 15 seconds, but the truth of the matter is we're very reliant on these cables that actually come through uh, from Europe in a sense. Do you, ever, do you foresee a trend where we actually uh, are going to have devices here or perhaps a hub, an internet hub in Africa servicing Africans? Yes, uh, I think uh, in the future uh, our devices will focus on some mass market. That means a lot of people will buy our devices. So I think each country in Africa we will set up our own, uh, uh, I mean, a service center or cooperation with operators. Mm -hmm. Yes. 